Hi friends, it's John with Guts and Glory Tennis, and I have decided to put together an episode of me stringing today. I don't know what we're going to call the episode, maybe Deep Thoughts While Stringing with John, or something like that. Um, I am stringing a Danae Formula Light 100 this morning. Right now I am putting in the mains, which is an MSV Focus Hex Plus 38. We'll talk about that a little bit later. Go ahead and put it in. This racket starts at the um, at the throat. So I've gone ahead and I've put those in. And today I'm going to show you how we get started with the claws. Um, a new technique, a new technique to me. Andrew Sprack, who is a, a brilliant engineer over in Australia, down under, he um, shared this technique with us. He works for Pro Stringer and is coming out with some really fantastic stuff. I mean, it. It's really good stuff. Can't wait to share it with you. Anyway, um, this technique, oh, there went ahead and already screwed up. Okay, so we put the first two in. I One and one, one left, one right. Uh, one left, I'm going, I put in, I'm gonna pull it through, but I'm not gonna put it through the um, receptacle grommet. Um, instead, I'm just gonna leave it here. I'm going to take my um, Pro Stringer, uh, my favorite flying clamp right now is the Pro Stringer Claws. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to clamp off one left and two left. That's where I'm going to put it to, to get to get started. One left and two left. Okay. So now this is the piece that's new to me, and I think Andrew created it. If not, uh, I'm not sure who did, but I'm going to give Andrew credit because he showed it to me. And um, this, what you see here, is a tennis ball bead. It has a hole drilled through it. Pretty substantial, ceramic of some sort. Nice. Tough bead. Anyway, I put a piece of poly in there. It's about a hand, about a hand length. Um, doesn't need to be any more than that. Could probably be even a little, little bit less. Andrew calls this a helper string. I'm not sure that that's the best name for it, um, but we'll call it that since that's what he's calling it. I'm going ahead and put it through the receptacle grommet, uh, which would be for two, um, two left, and it's holding there, and so it's just it's just going to sit there. So to get started, we well we have gotten started. The next step after inserting this is I'm going to take what would be one right and tension it. At 51 pounds so it's actually one left not one right it's at 51 pounds it's very sturdy I'm going to take my other claw I'm going to clamp it in on the string that's under tension and the helper string okay string under tension and the helper string is where it goes we're going to release tension get a little bit of twisting but that's okay now what we're going to do is we're going to pull this back up. We're going to tension one right. So now both mains have been pulled. They're both under tension. I'm going to release the clamp on the helper string. Helper string is released. We don't need it anymore. One and two are under tension. Put the claw there. And away we go. A new way maybe for some of you to get started uh, when using flying clamps. So now we are off and running. And I told you that we were going to come back and talk a little bit more about strings. The string that we're using here is the MSV Focus Hex Plus 38. I sell goo gobs of this string in my local business. It is an incredibly soft and playable poly. The plus 38, that, um, that number has a significance to it. For those of you who play with or, or are familiar with the MSV Focus Hex, plus 38 is 38% softer than the regular Focus Hex. That's significantly softer. Um, but the good news is it holds its tension incredibly well. It's not too soft. It's a string that players um, 
who have difficulty with stiffer polys can most of them get away with playing. It gives them the spin, the, um, the control that other polys give them. It's just a softer feel. Is it hot? Um, no, it's not a hot string. It's a little more powerful. There's a little bit more inherent power in it. Um, but it's definitely not um, uncontrollable or hot in any, any stretch of the imagination. So who is it good for? Well, in this particular case, this gentleman plays with the Dine racket because he's had tennis elbow. High-level player, really good player. Uh, he's had tennis elbow. We use the Dine because they're foam-filled. Uh, we got into those years ago. He's still playing them. And we use this string because he wants to use a poly. We started with plus 38 because that was the softest. We started as a hybrid and it's a setup that he loves. So we just keep on using it. Um, also a really great introduction to juniors um, who are starting to go through synthetics pretty fast and mom and dad are looking for uh, something that will give a little bit more durability. Um, it also fits the today's modern game very well because everyone's hitting with Western, semi-Western grips. Um, so this does a really nice job for the folks that are using those types of grips as well. Um, so it's a nice string. A lot of people don't know about it. It's not the best, best selling string in terms of through the internet. I don't know why. It's a great string. But it is one of my better selling pallies. Um, I use it, like I said, I, I string a lot of this. Um, rackets that are stiffer, um, you know, with an RA uh, stiffness of, say, uh, 66, 67, higher than that even, um, this makes for a good, a good option. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, just counting because when I string, I um, I increase the tension on my outer two. So we're on we're on number six now, and we're just stringing right away here. Da, 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 da. Anyway, I think that I was talking something about the MSB Focus X Plus Thirty Eight. It really is it really is a nice string, and um, maybe I'll. Uh, Maybe I'll run a little special for people who watch this video. If you watch this far into the video, um, after I'm done stringing this racket, I'm going to put a coupon code on it. On the reels of MSV Focus Hex Plus 38. The coupon code is going to be... Hmm, what shall we make? I'm going to need to write it down. So, let's see here. The coupon code is going to be... MSV, all caps, plus sign, 38, and then ROCKS, R-O-C-K-S, capital R. So capital M, capital S, capital V, the plus sign, 38, capital R, then lowercase, O-C-K-S. So MSV, plus 38, ROCKS. I'm going to put that as a coupon code, and it's going to be um, on our website. And it's going to be active for for one week. And what shall we what shall we do with it? Let's do a super special. Oops, I need to change my tension here. Let's do a super special um, twenty dollars off of a reel. Yep, twenty dollars off. That's what it's going to be. Okay, so I am going to increase my tension by a few pounds here. The outer two. I always do that. Tension has been adjusted. We're climbing off. And I sometimes stay even on sides. Um, sometimes I go um, two, two on the side and then switch over. Um, it doesn't really change the result. And it just depends what, what kind of mood I'm in, I guess. Anyway, we are finishing up here. Um, at least with the mains. So we're on the last main on this side. We're tensioning it off. Um, it gets a little wider here, so I used the the wider claw for the last for the last one. Go ahead, put that in. 
clamp it off. And go ahead and put this through. I string off of reels, and so I use a lot of extra string, and I don't like to come off short. Um, I could be more careful and have less string, but it's just what I do. I'm a little bit wasteful that way. Okay, so um, I guess I'm just using a surgeon's knot. What I do is I twist the, the flying clamp, put it up, and go bongo, or flying claw. It's done, there we go. Remove that, toss it aside, do the same over here. And the flying claws, you can see that these, these twist a little bit, but when you take up the tension the next pull, they, they come back, so you're not losing any tension. Um, I use flying, I use the claws on everything. I use them on my Bayardo. Um, I just love stringing with flying clamps. I find them to be easy to use, incredibly accurate, and it's just what I like to use. So I do because I can. Your mileage may vary. So you can see that, maybe you can't see, I don't know if the camera's high enough, but the, um, the claw twists a little bit. And so when I'm putting this through here, just a second, ah, it's fighting. This is a new frame. This guy, he just got this frame. Uh, he found it somewhere, I don't know where. So had to use a little persuasion, put a little bit more of a sharper tip on to get it through and now we're going to do our our tie off again and you can see what I do is I take my my um, pliers I twist the clamp with my hand to get the string straight I pull in up against the frame to reduce tension loss and that, that's about it our mains are done so you've learned a new starting technique we've talked about the focus hex 38 awesome string cross strings I haven't pre-cut this one, so like I said, I'm a big string master. You'll see that soon. So I know this is approximately three feet. So three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen should be enough for this. I'll put a little extra in because I always do. Cut it. And the way that I get started, one, two, three, is I like to Start at the third cross. Pull it through, give it a big long pull. Then I put it in at number two. Put in number two. And part of the reason I do this is I don't have such long pulls at the beginning. I learned this trick with natural gut. Um, got a little bit of a blockage there, so I'm gonna get my pliers to persuade it to go through. Now I'm going to go up to the first one, put it through, and with flying clamps, um, I always, there's not really much choice that I know of, double pull the first ones, my tension's higher so I keep it set higher, my tension has been set higher from, from the outer main, and I'm going to keep it that way for the first cross pull. So I put it in. This is a really stretchy string. I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, I'm going to give it one more pull here just to get it nice and nice and tight. Push up, push down, push up, push up, push up. Get some of that tension into the mains. Uh, still a little bit wider here so I'm using the wider, the wider claw. Put that in under tension. Release. Brilliant. Okay, so I'm going to push this through. It's a little bit sticky, that is. So, my crosses, I go in at 54 for this particular customer. Usually three to four pounds difference between the mains and the crosses, especially with a poly main. Because it's a little bit, little bit sticky going across, we're going to use, um, that's the wrong one. We're going to use a string weaver here. Hang on one second. Oh, it looks like I'm a little early. We had a customer walk in there. Have to take a little bit of a pause. But anyway, we are, um, I think I was getting ready to put in the, um, the string weavers. Um, these tools are 
I like them a lot. Some people probably won't, but they're very helpful, especially with the crosses here. So what you can see that we're going to do, I'm going to put, I inserted it. What it does is it raises and lowers the, the main strings um, to make it um, easier, just sort of push this through. And now what happens when I pull it through, there's very little friction. Um, the MS or the, the Vis Cannon um, 500, I never can remember the new element 500, um, is a very soft string. It's kind of a multi, it plays like a multi, um, but it's more durable in a poly hybrid than multi. It's really the, the, one of the softer strings that we use that's not a multi in a hybrid. And I don't like to use, um, I don't like to use multis with polys. I find them to be a very bad marriage. Um, just, they, 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 they don't hold up, they don't support the polys enough, and then your polys lose tension. You know that um, I said earlier I always increase the tension on the crosses. Well, that has been done here um, intentionally. We like to get the tension differential between mains and crosses somewhere between, oh, 20, 25%. If you don't increase the tension on the crosses or do extended pulling times or some other technique, um, it's going to be 30 to 35% difference. It's just the way, the, way, the way of the world, the way that it is. So, I'm going to swap out clamps. I'm going back to the, the normal size clamp now. Claw, flying claws. And you can see when I pull through, there's really no friction whatsoever. Great for natural gut. When you have a, um, when you have a shaped poly, it helps. As we get down a little bit lower, the friction isn't going to be as great, so we can remove this um, if we want to. Um, so I'm putting it in, very little friction. Anyway, the new Element 500, um, it's not a true multi, it plays like a multi, um, soft like a multi. It holds okay with the, the mains, it doesn't break as quickly, so we I use this occasionally. Normally, I like solid core crosses with poly mains or natural gut crosses with poly mains. Natural gut can go both ways, of course. Um, but if we have to go soft, we go this. Multis just, they, they don't support the poly mains. Um, everything loses tension fast. It's not durable. It's just a mess. It's a very, very bad marriage. And so I try to steer customers away from that whenever I can. Um, a nice um, soft poly will do the job. Or a nice soft um, synthetic will do the job, solid core synthetic, as opposed to the multi-fills. Um, at least that's the way I try and steer my customers in my local business. So anyway, we are just putting these in, using all, all the goodies here. We're using our, we used our jumper, new, a new technique, our jumper. We have, our string weavers in action. We have our claws in action. We're using our laser fiber, or not our laser. This is actually a, um, a stringway was um, once distributed in the United States under the name of laser fiber. Um, Tim, um, gosh, I'm blanking on his last name. Real nice guy named Tim. Sullivan founded Laser Fiber and he distributed uh, this machine under the Laser Fiber name for, um, for Stringway. Laser Fiber ended up um, going out of business. There is a new Laser Fiber now, it's not Tim's Laser Fiber. Um, but the um, Stringway came back under the distributed distributorship of New Tech. I think it's New Tech, New Tech Sports. Um, Mark Gonzalez in Texas um, distributes Stringway now. He's a great guy. Stringway products are available through him. They're nice products. They're really nice products. Uh, so that's kind of the story of Stringway and laser fiber. So you got a, a bonus story today that I didn't know I was going to tell. 
stream of consciousness, say. Hey. So getting back to um, to Pro Stringer, uh, I think that I can reveal because it's on their website. Pro Stringer has come out with a um, a more advanced system, for lack of a better term. Um, something that I will be using in the shop when I can get my hands on it. They have a portable power pack that. Uh, let you use the Pro Stringer without a wall outlet. So um, portable power is really cool for that type of machine. And they have a new stand that can and does accommodate the Pro Stringer unit. So it's very, very, very portable. You don't even need a table to hook it up. You just need this portable stand that can be built. You can look it up on the Pro Stringer website. Um, you can see, I believe you can see it there. Um, I have not seen the stand in person. I just watched it come to life through um, various prototypes and testing. I didn't test it, but I watched some of the testing videos and everything and it looks awesome. It really does look, look awesome. So hopefully we'll get one in here. And for videos like this, I did switch that. For videos like this, I will uh, be able to set that up and use the Pro Stringer. Pro Stringer on it. Uh, Pro Stringers, I have, I don't know, maybe I, I distribute for them. So there's a lot of machines here in the US that I have in my shop. And if you want to purchase directly through me, you are welcome to do that. I don't have them on my website. Maybe I'll pop them out there. Can't provide any discounts or anything because I don't own the machines. I am just the distributor. So we have to use Pro Stringer pricing, which is fine. But um, if you purchase through me, I might get a little bit of a commission. Always appreciate that. But I'm not even stringing with it today. I'm just using the claws. Um, we'll do that. We'll do a stringing using that machine on another day. We'll talk all about it then. So I'm getting down to towards the um, towards the bottom of the cross strings, and for whatever reason, the tie off is really bothering me. So I'm going to get my my pliers. I don't know. I usually cut this off early. I think because I was packing, I didn't. Anyway, the tie off was bothering me. We cut it off. Um, I am going to. Because the string's so soft, I, I sometimes do a an initial pull before I release. Okay, got this. I'm gonna just take the string weaver out here. We don't have nearly as much friction. You'll see when I pull it through. It might sound a little different. I don't know what, what the microphone on this camera is picking up. I don't have an external mic. We're just using a um, my Osmo action cam to record this because it's wide angle and I figured why not use it the speaker should be okay I'm hoping so otherwise this video won't ever see the light of day well we are now on the bottom three bottom three crosses so put that in I'm running out of things to talk about. I think we'll try and do some of these live. That would be interesting. Um, we're going to be getting a new phone soon. And I think maybe we'll do some live ones where I can answer questions as I'm stringing. Uh, do I have any more deep thoughts to share with you? Um, not many more, but I am going to repeat, for those of you that may have missed it, earlier in the video, I decided that I was going to run a special, top secret special, only for people watching this video, on the MSV Focus Hex Plus 38, a really nice main string, very versatile, very soft, comfortable, maybe doing something live in the future. Um, where I can answer questions as we go. Oh, I, actually, I 
I was talking about the, um, the plus 38. Yes, the plus 38. There was a coupon code that I gave. MSP plus 38 rocks. Um, earlier in the video, and for those of you that wrote it down, uh, it will be active on my website tomorrow. Today is September 23rd. This probably won't be posted until tomorrow. So it'll be on the website through, um, oh, let's say October the 5th. Yes, October the 5th. You know why October the 5th? I'll tell you why. Because I can remember that date because it's my birthday. I'm going to be very, very old. Too old. Don't like getting old. Okay, so we are on the final the final pull. Um, I always increase the tension a bit. I have no idea what that is to. Um, but we are at the final pull. We're doing tension. Locked it off. And I'm going to cut it here. Brilliant. Feed it through. I think we're going to feed it through. Yeah, there we go. Come through like a champion. Do our surgeon's knot, also known as the Wilson Pro Knot, which is my knot of choice. Love that knot. Use it to just about everything. Sometimes when there's a big grommet up top, I use an old fisherman's knot. But really, that's my knot of choice. Cut one more off. And I thank you for joining me. Not sure how long this took. It took a little longer than normal. But um, it wasn't due to the... Um, the length was not due to my string weaver tool. You could see... Um, that I was just stringing fine with this. It wasn't really slowing me down. Any people say it slows you down. It creates an advantage in terms of keeping the channel open and not burning the crosses. Um, so that's what I use it for. I string a lot of rackets. I use it a lot of the time. That's it. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I will answer them for you. Have a great day, everyone.